Hey, it's Joseph here. I have received a care package from 3D Connexion. So I wanted to unbox this thing and provide a review. 3D Connexion is actually known for their 3D mouse, which is kind of unique. I usually keep it right here and it connects via dongle that is connected to my desk, which is one right here. And I can just have it connected on my desk. If you're interested in this product, I'll leave a link right here or in the description for you guys to watch that video and today we are going over more of a regular mouse which is CAD mouse pro wireless so let's go ahead and inspect the box on the front it says 3d connection it is CAD mouse pro wireless and it is apparent that this mouse is made for CAD professionals if you're an architectural designer like myself or CAD specialist then you're looking at the right product for yourself. The Pro in the name actually means this is a full size and most ergonomic model that they have for the mouse. And they actually have another mouse that's called CAD Mouse Wireless, which is more mobile or smaller version than this. And do keep in mind that they also provide left-handed version of CAD Mouse Pro Wireless. So if you're one of those people, I know there's not that many ergonomic mouses that has left-handed versions so you can definitely enjoy that aspect if you are that type of person and also on the back of the box which is right here there are quite a lot of features that are stated in here although I'll go over them later on in this video so let's go ahead and skip that part and let's get this box opened already Okay, so here it says it has three different connecting possibilities, which is through a dongle and also a Bluetooth and USB connection. You can see that on the box here. And after that, there is a bag for the mouse and then a USB cable. It seems micro USB to USB A type braided, which is nice that's different from other space mouse that I'm used to and another dongle and this is the exact same one as the one that I had for the space mouse and let's undo this paper around the cable quite well wrapped little velcro for you to keep it all nicely tidy and here is the black bag with a very nice case I knew there was a case included, but that is looking nice. Let's look at the case. It's black, it has nice rubbery feel to it, and then it has a zipper. There you go. Okay, that was a quite snug fit. Let's keep that aside for now and just look at the mouse itself. It is feeling quite nice on the hand. After all, that is the most important aspect, isn't it? And this USB receiver is actually exactly the same one as the one that I have received for the Space Mouse. So I'm gonna be able to use that. And honestly, who likes having so many dongles? So the fact that this mouse also connects via Bluetooth is definitely upside. And you can see that Bluetooth mark on the bottom of the mouse. And if you're at a pinch where you don't have charge on the mouse, then you can also connect via the included cable or any other micro USB cable. So three different connection is available, which is quite nice. But I also heard that this mouse lasts longer than three months, which is stated on the box itself. So I'm quite hopeful that I don't really need to carry the wire at all, but know that that is available for your peace of mind. And one thing that you'll realize that this mouse is quite different to the other is actually there's three different buttons on the top. That's why it's different from other type of mouse whilst being very ergonomic and comfortable to use. And one other aspect that they have is Smart Mouse Wheel 2. And supposedly this mouse wheel is something that is really smooth to operate. There's actually stopping points. I don't know if you can hear it. And you can also click on the wheel, which is very nice. And supposedly you can roll it really far. So precise click to zoom in CAD applications 
or also do speedy scrolling with the inertia effect on browsers and document. Let's power it on. So there is a switch at the bottom of the mouse. All right, CAD Mouse Pro Wireless, it already has detected, done, and good to go. So either I can just scroll down slow, or I can just push up really quickly and it just carries on going, and it just goes further down. Even though the scroll wheel is not turning, it just, with the inertia effect, it just carries on. Okay, that is quite intuitive. Or as an architectural designer, or if you're also in a relative field, then you'll realize that you use a middle mouse button quite a lot, or people do refer it as clicking on the scroll wheel. And because this mouse has three different buttons, you can use a middle mouse button as the middle mouse button, or you can also click on the scroll wheel as well. So that is easily available for you, and it is a lot more intuitive to do that than just clicking on the scroll wheel all the time. So it is definitely based on our preference and our specific usage, but that is available. And they do state another function of radial menu, which is the same radial menu that you see on other products such as Space Mouse. And you can activate your favorite commands with a simple mouse gesture. And that is the button that is on top of your mouse, which is this mouse button right here. And you can click on that and the radial menu will pop up. So on SketchUp, I can just either choose different type of view modes, or I can even do a zoom fit or tape measure tool. So those are pre-assigned already. So you just have to use that and then just move your mouse in that direction to do those functions. You don't even have to click on it, which is quite nice macro function that you can set up. And I believe you can customize that by going to their software and it is the same software as the one that I use for Space Mouse. So it is detecting the universal receiver, the CAD Mouse Pro Wireless, and also my Space Mouse Wireless that I usually have it connected. So I can either change the speed of the mouse or go to advanced settings, change different settings in here as well. That is a lot of settings. So it is seemingly detecting Enscape instead of SketchUp on here, but you can set up your radial buttons and then back button, forward button to do zoom in and out. The wheel button is going to do middle mouse button versus middle mouse button is going to do something else. You can set it up in different ways and you can pick out different functions that exist on the software. Although it says Enscape 3D, this is a listing of SketchUp, so I know this is everything that I can set up for these mouse button to do. So there's quite a lot of macro buttons available here. So I will do undo. So I'll do undo here and then maybe here I do it as a redo. That way when I draw something and then I can just undo or redo which is quite nice instead of hitting a keyboard short key. So I can definitely map out different functions to all of these buttons. So in here, I can set up different radial menus. I can either do the CAD mouse setup versus other type of radial mouse, pro tools, the views, or completely set up a new radial menu button and set up different actions per the sections, or I can increase the section count from four to eight, which is introducing incredible amount of customizable menu for this specific mouse. Obviously it's gonna be a while before my muscle memory kicks in, but as soon as you have that set up, you can just quickly make your workflow a lot more efficient. And one more thing that I wanted to mention that was on the box as a feature was that it is 7,200 DPI. We do appreciate precision as we need to draw things very accurately. So having that high DPI really matters in 7,200 seems adequate for me. So personally, I think this mouse would be the good one for me to have it on the go. I need to make sure it's turned off and then get the carrying case, put it in there and I am good to go. I have a mouse that lives inside of my backpack for me to use on the go, but whenever I use it maybe longer than an hour, it starts to really put strain on my wrist. 
So I'm gonna appreciate this sort of bigger mouse in a good carrying bag to carry around and use it on the go. So I hope that you have enjoyed this content. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching these type of videos. And thank you so much for sending me this product, 3D Connection, and I will enjoy this product. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.